It's pressure point, by the way, folks. It's pressure point. I know it's what you love to see. It's what you love to see. Oh, I've run out of cider. I could really use another cider. We'll try to get through this game without cider. All right, folks. Hello. Welcome to a two versus two. Pop this beginning multiplayer. Map is Pressure Point. It's the most popular map. It's the most fierce and disgusting of maps. It's 1.5. Spells will not fail to cast. We will see lots and lots of earthquakes, firestorms, lightnings, etc. This is the base version of multiplayer 1.5 with standardized restrictions. No revival mode here, folks, I'm afraid. But it's going to be extremely interesting nonetheless okay so the allies are in the blue tribe we have got mentix his ally in red jaden they are playing against meth in yellow and their ally is zed pectrix Okay, this could be a, a good game. I know Meph is one of the best players in the game. Menix is also a very strong player who's just returned. And the other two are Fire Warrior ranks. So, it should be good. Favourites are probably, in my opinion, yellow and green. The issue is green is can be some, sometimes a liability. You never know what you're going to get out of this player. So, let's find out as the game slowly unfolds. The starting moments here. Two minutes in, we've got players building up, converting. I'll try to get populations on here for you. Out of curiosity, any eight player PP maps? There are eight player PP maps, but they obviously are just the same. There's not like a bigger world. They're just sort of added on. So now. Obviously, the focal point here is the center of the map, which allows you to attack other tribes freely. If you control this, it's easier to defend your ally and attack the, the enemy of your ally. Whereas, you've only got sort of the one avenue if you don't have it. So, of course, the point to be pressured is this. Also, the Armageddon spell is in the center here, which we were unlikely to see, but if uh, a team was winning and wanted to end it decisively, they could worship the Armageddon spell. Fire Origin Tower is filled up nice and quick. We can see Meth here building his hut. He's got his Fire Warrior hut. Green here going for the Warrior hut. Nice and early there. Blue also doing the same. Fire Warrior hut. We'll be up by every player. Every player will get the Fire Warrior up. Very important to get your towers. Fire Warrior is in these towers. Because there are a lot of wildmen, you can get up to 50 population if you're lucky. Dormy between 40 to 50 population, and the spells start coming out early. Meph here with some good ground. He's got fire orange in the tower on the front, and it's actually damaging Red's tower, which is uh, going to push him back ever so slightly. Players will build down the center as well to build a few, sometimes four to five more huts, which of course increases your population by 12 to 15, uh, small hut wise. We'll see blue do the same. Green doesn't get as many green spaces, a bit worse off. Ghosts from yellow now into red's center. This is the center point, or the middle. I guess you can consider these lanes if you so choose, but this is like the center lane. This is what's known as the front, and this is the side. Nice damage on the buildings here from uh, yellow. Titanic, have a great evening, mate. Enjoy whatever curry you want to eat, because I know you're going to eat curry. You always are. Get the game loaded up here. Get the populations up. Four minute mark. We're start, going to start seeing earthquakes very soon. Maybe tornadoes, if we're going to see something a bit different. Green here going for his second warrior hut. Got to build at the back as well. Players at this moment are just concentrating on expanding their bases as quickly as possible. Maybe doing some dismantling to get the population up faster. Ghosts against the Towers of Green here. Green coming out with the ship to try and stop it. He's blasted the Ghosts into the water. Fire taken out there from, from Green and the second is gone as well. So this is what it's all about, guys. This map's all about pushing forward. You want you want what you want to see blue in here is taking out these towers and building his own towers and push and push and push and push the enemy back. This is how populace generally tends to work on maps like this. 
Blast battle here. Red's been sort of flung into the water there with a combination of blasts and ghosts. Uh, now, Mef here in yellow has got uh, all the time in the world to attack the base. We've got an earthquake here from blue, which has lowered the land of green's defense. Green Shaman's also gone. No, he has. I thought he got in the water. He hasn't, but blues are still alive. Earthquake from yellow now has done some damage there to red's base. His Shaman has gone down, but that's some nice early damage. What's my opinion on Kiri? It's great. Typically, Thai Kiri. I love a Thai Kiri. Left now with a few warriors also at the front of Red's uh, base. Going to take out the warriors. Probably take out the warriors and dip out. As uh, Red Shaman is now coming back. Won't want to lose those f uh, warriors. Shaman's coming now. You might lose him if he's not paying attention. He's moving them now, but it's probably a bit too late. It is too late. Lost two of those warriors. One has survived Tornado in retaliation from Red against Yellow's t uh, tower there, which is going to actually pick his warrior up as well, so that's very fortunate. Make sure that guy gets killed. And picked up a, a Fire Warrior out of the tower. It actually took him out of the tower. Left's ignoring the front now, going towards the centre with his Shaman. Relatively quiet on the blue and green front here. Couple more. Another tornado from from red. Yellow is ignoring that, going through the front with some ghosts to filter out the towers, get rid of the fire warriors. He's going to be careful here. There's a couple of blasts coming from the hills. He has survived though. Swarms now from green as he tries to push into red's base. He may have lost his shaman in the process though. Red continuing to push forward into yellow's defense. He's got some ghosts of his own, but he needs to be careful. He's been targeted by the fire warriors of yellow. Knocked straight into the water. Meth now got to run forward with his shaman again. He's got no shaman in defense, so he only has to worry about these fire warriors. He's got ghosts, he's got blasts. Has he got swarms? Swarms would be very good here. These three towers causing quite a bit of a, of a problem for, for Meth. Now another earthquake deep. Deep. But it didn't really do too much. Didn't really go the way the blue player would have wanted there. But it has done some damage to the land, which makes it difficult to build huts there. That is uh, for certain. Mephi are just sitting on the center of Red's base here. Center strip. Green now going for a counter attack while Blue Shaman is dead. He's got some warriors and swarms of his own. Red Shaman's back to try and defend his base against Yellow. Yellow's obviously tr uh, charging some bigger spells there. He hasn't attacked while the Red Shaman was gone. Red Shaman possibly ignoring Yellow right now. Going to go to the front again where Yellow is a bit weak. Double Earthquake now from Green as he's got into Blue's defense. That's done quite a bit of damage. Two Earthquakes at once will do a certain amount of damage, that is for sure. Did you see that there? That's a lot of damage. Four Shaman of Red is in the center. His real Shaman's on the front here with lots of swarms. Yellow Shaman's having to retreat now to come back and defend his base, but Red Shaman has gone down to the Fire Warrior, so he's going to turn back around and head back to where he was coming from. Lightning from Green misses the Shaman. Blue Shaman with a blast. Green Shaman looks like he survived. Getting sort of slowed down there by the Ghost Brace, but he's cast them all, some of his own, which have been immediately killed. Swarms now from Meth. This is what I was talking about. Those towers were causing a problem, but the swarms will make their fires run out. Red Shaman is now coming back. He's heading straight over. Has he got a lightning? We don't know. We'll soon find out. He's got Ghost, which he cast onto the Swarm. Obviously, he died immediately. The Earthquake has been cast by Meth. Could do some damage to the Huts. Destroyed one. Damage two more. Warriors are retreating now. A Shaman has just gone down. It looks like it was Green Shaman. Blue now thinking about what he's going to do. There's some Warriors from Green. I wouldn't... Running. Running. Running towards the front. Earthquake on the uh, three towers here of the defense, which has, is sort of the high hill. It just hasn't done a great deal. One one tower imploded some roofs of buildings gone off, but that will be rebuilt. Obviously, it does give Blue a nice avenue to attack here, so Green's going to want to fortify this. Lightning cast from Red. Now he's charged with all the earthquake has been cast by Meth. Oh, it's a nasty earthquake. The way it just lowers the land and damages the towers, it makes it even easier for him to attack again, unless Red rebuilds that pretty quickly. And of course, Yellow has rebuilt his front very well. He's not filled the towers yet, though, but they are 
obviously going to get filled at some point, so... Useful nonetheless, but will be more useful now with your fill, because the Shaman is on the attack, cast another Earthquake. Could go either way, could be good, could be bad. RNG, baby. That's the way you wanted it to go. It's a good one. Warriors there at the front of Blue's base aren't going to pose much of a problem. The fire is not going to take him out. Red Shaman's... Red Shaman did survive the attack, has come back. They were green warriors, actually. Oh no, the yellow warriors, I should say. They're colorblind, perhaps. Yellow warriors have snuck in to the side of Red's base here. Going to kill some Braves and cause some damage. Red's going to need to send some men there to mop them, otherwise they're going to lose some huts. Lambage being charged and cast from yellow to rebuild his defense. Blue again pushing in. Yellow, green, green Shaman has just come back. The earthquake has been cast. <laughs> this is the game, guys. RMF making some land here. Be able to build some towers on there. Red Shaman at the back there. Lightning from green has killed Blue Shaman. More tornadoes from the red player here. I really want some more cider. Three tornadoes, in fact, takes out those three towers we mentioned before. Mef's defense is pretty much gone now. He's going to need to defend for a moment. The shaman's going to have to hang fire, but he's being picked up by the tornado. Let's see where he goes. If he goes in the water, it could be huge. He's oh, hoo -hoo. he survived. That was, that was centimeters. Go in the water. Lightning has been cast off. Yes, he's got him this time. Has Red got anything to attack with? He's got some fire ores. He needs to be careful of. He needs to bring some men forward. Bring these ghosts or whatever with you. All the fire ores from yellow have been targeted. Now we've also got earthquakes at the same time against the blue player. So as one player on your team gets destroyed, your ally gets destroyed at the same time. Red getting distracted by all the Braves are just being sent forward here. Yellow Shaman has a green case like right next to the front of his base, so it's much easier to defend than it is for blue. So when he comes back, he's going to be ready to attack, ready to defend. He'll be back any second now. He's back. He's gone for the Earthquake. He would have wanted it deeper, but he knew that the Shaman had come back, and the tower was just annoying enough to stop him from going forward. Damage isn't too great. It's damaged, but it hasn't destroyed. Lightning from green has missed blue. Blue's got his Earthquake off, and he's managed to get those towers. Finally, the green Shaman is on fire. Green Shaman casts to cancel the lava damage. Because in popular, if you jump out of the lava, it stops hurting you. That's how lava works in real life, guys. Shaman trade over there, a couple of lightnings, now it's up to yellow now to attack red. He's going to want to do that now because he's been taking a beating for the last three minutes. So that means he will have spells to use. Let me see if I can get a population count for you. Melon, thanks very much. Hope you are back later, but enjoy your dinner, miss. Populations are neck and neck, 218 to 213, just slightly in favour of the blue team. The blue and red team, so it is neck and neck here. Of course, map control the sender isn't really much, but it is somewhat in the hands of the yellow and green players right now. Oh, well, a bit of a calm before the storm now, folks. Seems to have just tapered off a little bit. We've got blue fortifying his frontier. Green with land bridges to rebuild his green's defense. <laughs> it's not looking too good. Warriors now from blue coming towards the center. We've now got red and yellow going for another duel here. Tornado has missed. Second tornado. This time from red has connected the earthquake. He did miss a lightning, but the earthquake's good. Yellow survived the tornado flip again. Didn't have flipped. Didn't have fling. Flung. He went to the same place near enough. Lightning kills blue shaman, but he did get an earthquake off in the center of green strip here and it's done a lot of damage it's actually cut him well some cut him off he's going to be awkward for his shame to get across that and his troops he might want to land at some point he's got warriors taking out the huts of green also at the front of yellow's base as well doing a lot of damage there yellow not too worried he's got his own fire acid defense and he has got the red shaman that he has to worry about his defense is still not fully rebuilt here he's got this one tower here and that's pretty much it two towers and if red kills a shaman and gets past this tower he's pretty much in Lightning hit, but didn't kill. Oh, that one's connected, though. The Shaman has been picked up by a tornado in retaliation, though. The yellow Shaman's down. Red Shaman looks like he's going to survive. Can't really see where they're going. Can't really see where they're going. Which is alive. 
Right now with some tornadoes into Blue's front. Thought they might have went to the center, but of course, awkward to get there. Lots of swarms from Red now. He's got this tower here, which isn't too much. Needs to get these ghosts sent in. You've got to send the ghosts in. Oh, and he's gone down to the Fire Warrior. And again, the earthquakes, it's its damaged, but it's not great. If they had sent the ghosts in and swarmed these Fire Warriors, you would have got deeper, but the ghosts sort of just were put there. You've got to cast them, send them in the towers, pull the Fire Warriors out. Blue now. This is it. This is the first time we've seen 50 minutes in. We've seen the first... I guess what's called a double back in the day, but uh, Blue is attacking Yellow. Actually, he's got the kill on Yellow ship, and this could be humongous. Now, Blue needs to be worried here. He's got a, he's got Fire Warriors here. Oh, he's got the damage to get across to the side there. What is Green going to do? Ooh! Blue's so close to going in the water here. Earthquake not great, but that one is fantastic. Yellow's just lost all of his side huts. He even had a Fire Warrior hut there, I believe. Green's now pushing in through the front of Blue's base. Blue's got a lot of towers there, look, but there are a lot of warriors that are going to soak up that fire warrior damage. Blue's aware of this. He's heading towards the center. Red's coming in now against Yellow's front. Green's going to try and get at least three, three lightnings to take out those towers. Makes it get, make him get in. But he's got all these blue troops. Pushed him in the water. He's gone down. This could be huge as Red gets finally into Yellow's base with some deep, deep earthquakes. That's huge. That's huge damage. We're going to see a definite... Uh, Population fall now here for the yellow player. Yeah, green. He had a lot to do, but he couldn't do it. And Blue Shaman has now just got back to clear up the troops. It's a good player by Blue. He's going to want to rebuild this, get rid of the warriors. He will be okay. It's not updated the population yet. But, I mean, looking at this, you can tell yellow's in a lot of trouble. He's actually going to make some land now. He needs a fire warrior. He's lost his fire warrior huts. I believe he lost two in the matter of a minute there. He lost the one on the side and lost the one in his main base. And now he's got nothing, nothing to defend his base besides his shaman. Yeah, yellow has just lost. He's gone from 120, 130 down to 104. So he's lost about 25 or so men. Population is obviously now in favor. Much more of the blue and red tribe by about 30 population. So it's not too much. It's not too much. Lightning now from green trying to push into the center, take back the middle. Like we maybe got some warriors. Yeah, warriors from red taking out yellow's front here. Yellow, like I said, yellow's just got his shame. He's really straight. He's going to need some troops from his ally if he can, but they're not even connected anymore. This is looking very, very bad. The Meth and Zed Pectrix. This is what I mean now that the pressure's on red and blue can choose to attack whomever they like. And it looks like they're both going to keep pushing yellow as yellow's got no means to defend himself besides his shaman. He has got some fire warriors in towers. Green with three warrior hoods. He's got a lot of warriors ready to go. This is what I like to say. You're making some land between yourselves here. Obviously, if you do lose the middle, it's easy to be earthquaked, but it's better... It, Better to earthquake this than this, so. But if they fortify the front, uh, the middle I should say, they will have uh, a very, what's the word? Assuming base, not unassuming, the opposite. I mean, an assuming base. There's some plans down now. There they are. Yellow's got his fire warrior hood up. He's got some more huts being built. He's got a lot of warriors here in defense. We've had a big heavy attack now. Team's deciding what to do. Playing a bit reactively here rather than proactively now. But I like what uh, Blue and uh, Red are doing in making land. Taking opportunity of the uh, advantage that they've got. So they can increase their populations. Whereas Yellow will just be trying to regain his population. Looks like he's going to push forward now though. Going to go on his tower. Try the lightning. Second one has missed two lightnings. Very desperate attempt here from Yellow. When he wasn't, when Red wasn't really attacking or pushing in, was he hoping to kill the Shaman and do one big attack? I don't know. It's risky because you got Blue there as well. Blue's towers being rebuilt. He might end up lambaging over here as well to make his defense even more. Assuming. Well, the warriors trying their luck. Blue now. 
Luke trying to lighten on the green shape and missed that. Would have been great if he got. He's going to go back in the tower. He's jumping now. He's being hit though. Oh, risky move. Green gets the kill. Tornado from yellow. Mm. Oh, yellow stood still for a moment. He just missed the shot though, red. He's going to go back in the tower. Going to try his potluck again. Oh, he's just gone for the direct click, which is very hard to hit when they are so far away. Warriors converging in the center now. Another warrior hood from red. He's got one in the back. That's his second one. Green with a thousand troops. This is a very ballsy player, considering Blue Shaman's going to be back very quickly. This is huge. I don't see it paying off because Blue Shaman's already back. couple of earthquakes the warriors are all these are all gonna die even his own earthquakes probably the earthquakes aren't even good blows the land i'm sure but doesn't do too much damage lightning from yellow on the middle now red's gonna use this opportunity to push in yellow's gonna have to come come back lots of warriors gonna get some swarms yellow in defense i would think or maybe even just a lightning on the shaman into the water yes he is the earthquake's been cast on the defense but yellow's gonna be fine with that much better than deep in the heart of his base again that defense that earthquake's actually atrocious so nothing to worry about there blue shaman are mopping up all of these troops from green which you have to remember there was a lot a lot of troops there from green he had a lot of troops and troops don't generate nearly as much mana as braves do so he's been producing much less mana over the time he's had those trained followers and he sent them all in to die, so they haven't achieved too much there. Somewhat of a waste. We knew Blue Shaman was going to be back. He had to have done that much, much sooner. Double Earthquake now from Yellow. A couple of Earthquake, uh, couple of Lightnings from Blue have missed the Green Shaman. Again, Earthquake's not too grand there. So much... RNG when it comes to earthquakes. We haven't really seen... I don't know if we've seen a firestorm yet. We're at 22. Have we not even seen a firestorm yet? That's insane. All we've seen are these spells, guys. And my cursor is, it's just these. Not a single firestorm, Jimmy? Thanks, Jimmy. I don't think we had. I'm sure we're going to see some soon, though. Blue trying to get around green space. He's got a lightning on us. Green Shaman was stuck on a tiny, tiny hill. He's got to go around here now. He's got one, two, three towers here to contend with. He's cast a couple of swarms there. Three swarms, in fact. Now he's going to push forward. We've got some fire oil, some green coming down there. But there's the first firestorm. Oh, he almost got in the water, but he's just survived. He's got about 20 seconds now before his Shaman gets back. This could be huge. What spells has he got? Oh, red's also coming in the same direction to green's base. He's coming through the side. Earthquake's done some deep damage there. This could be game, guys. Yellow yeah, kind of... He's, he just, he's not going to help. He doesn't know what to do. Another firestorm from red. Green Shaman's back, but he stood still. But he has managed to get blue Shaman. But we have got red Shaman coming through the side door. Green's got nothing. There is the third firestorm in the game. Second in succession from red here. Doesn't really do too much, but he just wants to get in. He wants to get in and cast these earthquakes. Mef's going to try and sneak around into Red's base. Red's got to be careful there. He's got to make sure he has the ability to move back to his base and uh, target his men. He's sent them in, but the Firestorm, he's just sent them all in, Adam. Firestorm's going to eat all of those up. Mef now going to have a huge attack. Red's obviously done a great, great amount of damage here. Oh, look at all those dead men then. Firestorm has done so much more than those other Firestorms. One Firestorm has done better than three. Where's he going? What's he planning? Doesn't know what to cast. He's cast it there. He wants to kill the shaman. Has he got any warriors? He doesn't know. I don't know, but the earthquakes are huge. Red's taking a big beating here. If he loses his shaman, it's only going to get much worse. The warriors are coming now. But his shaman's gone down. Shaman's gone down. Green's back. His population must be so low. Blue is is sitting pretty, especially with this uh, extra base here. He's sending fire warriors of his own across to help Red, which are going to do actually a lot against these uh, fire warriors. Uh, warriors of Yellow, sorry. And uh, Blue is now going to push into Yellow's rebuilt defense. 
Divinity, thanks for joining us. Both teams taking a hit there. But it's Green, who's gone from 149 to 41. And he's got troops just pushing in. He's got his own warriors here that aren't doing it. He's now pushing forward. He's going to try and get the Shaman. He's missed the Shaman. He was walking up a hill. Is he going to get the second one? No, he's missed that one. Everyone's missed the blue Shaman. That's like four lightnings. The fifth one connects. But red. Have they got lightning? So red, they do, but that one's missed. The second one's got him into the water, but red's also got yellow. So yellow can't attack right now. Just taking a beating from the earthquakes. Is this a free throw? No, certainly not. A firestorm from green, but what did we say a little earlier, folks? Better the firestorm earthquakes here than here so blue will, will not mind that at all there might be a second firestorm now though which is obviously going to be a bit uh, more worrying but he's got towers here in defense swans have been cast blue shaman's coming back now to defend green needs to do something here to stay he needs to do tons of damage to stay in the game but that's not going to be enough the earthquakes are all in the same area the shaman's gone down to the blue's lightning fire warrior hood's gone all right so blue's lost his fire but he has still got plenty of fire warriors in defense Ooh, a trade there. Nice little shame battle. We just caught the end of it there. Green's actually ran his troops over to Yellow's base. Still thinking they can do it, but Green's out the game now. He's done his damage. Red took a bit of a beating, but he's still got a much better base. This looks like it's pretty much over now. It's, uh, the entire game hangs on the balance by a thread. There yeah, we go. Green has surrendered. And now for the typical trash talk. Green's base is transferred to yellow. And yellow is gonna keep going. He believes he can do this. Oh yeah. Green was down to 20 population. It was definitely over. Well, actually, no, yellow has the highest, well, had the highest population. Got a firestorm in the middle. He has managed to kill a red shaman. He wants to get in and kill a red, I think. But it's going to be very difficult now with two teams against, two players against one, so. There we go. This is going to be my time to go and get a beer. Whew. Hey, dear. I think you can surrender now, Yellow. I think you can consider this game over. He might be one of the highest ranked in the game, but you're not coming back from this. There is a surrender. Well played to all players there. Very good game. Congratulations. Blue and uh, red there. Mentix and Jin. Well done. Good game. Thanks for watching. The case, Elsa.